I'm a crush it. Call me hi. I'm not Anthony Walker. Your regular host for Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine, is behind me, and he himself is news today. So welcome to Unsung Upside Down. I'm Christopher Whitlatch, and I'm filling in for Anthony today, as he is off playing video games. I'm here at Chachi Plays, and we'll have more on that later. But first, here's what is happening with our area nonprofits. Essential Public Radio, 90.5 on your FM dial, launched Essential Pittsburgh, a new locally produced program from Essential Public Radio dedicated to the development of deep and ongoing exploration of critical issues impacting Pittsburgh and Western Pennsylvania last week. Essential Pittsburgh values listener input during the program via phone, email, or even social media, and also wants to know what you want to talk about. Tune in or get the scoop at essentialpublicradio.org slash ESSPGH. Pittsburgh Cares is celebrating 20 years of service in Pittsburgh, and they invite you to join them to serve the Berg with Celebrity Cares. Can you do a service in 20 project over the course of 2012? Could you give 20 minutes, 20 hours, 20 days, or even 20 projects? The details are at pittsburghcares.org. The Pittsburgh Foundation has released the 2012 edition of the Wish Book. The Wish Book provides individuals and families in our community with unique opportunity to make a difference by purchasing tangible items of $2,500 or less that are much needed by nonprofit organizations. Visit pittsburghfoundation.org backslash wish underscore book and browse the wishes. Be sure to share them with your friends through social media as well. Now let's check in with Anthony, who's in his 16th hour of playing video games for kids. Chachi Plays is a 24-hour benefit to provide much-needed funding for arts programs at the Tunesium and Father Ryan Arts Center in McKees Rocks. Nerds in the club and you know how we do. A handful of cash and a couple of brews. So many women, so little time. Uh, he said, hey, I want to come and play ga games 24 hours as a fundraiser for charity. And I said, uh, yeah, of course. I love it. So, uh... He, uh, he picked us, of course, as one of the charities. Uh, the Tunesium is a nonprofit. We have a lot of programs for kids. And then um, he asked uh, us to suggest another one. And uh, uh, right away, we thought of the Father Ryan Art Center, which does a lot of great work in uh, McKee's Rocks, which uh, is uh, unfortunately an area that I think uh, we forget. There's a lot of kids there who kinda really use the arts programming. Nobody questions teaching kids math and the fact that people question teaching kids arts is completely ridiculous so I think you know you need a balanced um, uh, education I'm sorry it's, it's very it's very late it is very late oh I think it's very important I think it's uh, it's a nice outlet for um, a lot for your cre creativity if you don't have something to put it out there and kind of complement the rest of essentially the rest of your brain if it's just all thinking and you don't have that side where you get to free your mind I think you lose a lot with that it just lets kids be creative and that's what yeah. makes kids like really grow up to be like something special and uh, Chachi doing this for art is absolutely phenomenal no matter what kind of art whether it's photography to oils to watercolors it helps kids with their creativity imaginations uh, that's where the, our architects are going to come from. That's where our, a lot of our uh, more creative thinking is going to come from. Art. This Tunesium is a great place. You guys should come down and check it out. Uh, it would be, it, it, this is where kids get ideas. This is where you start to figure out things. This is where uh, you kind of learn about, uh, you know, the art as a, as, as a whole and how art is not just pictures or photography or video that you have music and performances and all that other stuff that and, and art is what allows you to be creative because a lot of people don't get that opportunity to do that for most of their life so art is that release like I, I know that m many of the art teachers that I've grown up grown up with uh, are really really trying to push art to their students and it's really important to get that out and seeing that there's not that many uh, schools with art schools or art classes it's really good like the like for Father Ryan, Father Ryan, right? Father Ryan Art Center and the Tunesium. And the Tunesium are doing something to help 
get the arts going back up in Pittsburgh. Uh, the only thing that's going to improve for next year is bring your A game when he comes to see Chachi. There you go. There I you mean, go. I mean, when you walk in, this kid, he's not messing around. Chach, he's, he's, he's out there for blood. He's out there for real. He's played the games you play. I mean. <laughs> no, we do a lot of events here. Uh, and we're a cartoon and comic book museum. So um, we, we have some pretty geeky things happen here. Uh, last night was by far the, the geekiest event we've ever had though <laughs> they definitely kicked the quotient up um when they brought in the accordion player to play the theme from tetris i think that really pretty much that put her over the top add some good tunes some rocking i met this girl you think she plays some halo we keep the tech coming in this edition of unsung as the pittsburgh technology council shares the launch of the pittsburgh creative technology network some really cool things going on in pittsburgh hope you tap into it The 10th anniversary of the Crushed Grapes wine tasting event benefiting Sisters Place will be held on Thursday, March 8, 2012. Contributions benefit formerly homeless mothers and their children who reside in housing supported by Sisters Place. Purchase tickets at the address on your screen. The Lawrenceville Gourmet Spaghetti Dinner, founded by the Boys of Lawrenceville in 2004, marks its return on Friday, March 2nd. The unique event will benefit the Bernard Dog Run Community Initiative, aimed at building an off-the-leash dog park for the residents of Lawrenceville. The event will be held at the Teamster Hall in Lawrenceville from 4.30 to 9.30 p.m., and the evening will include a delicious meal, beer and wine, live entertainment, silent auctions, and traditional Italian music. More information can be found 
on at the address on your screen. Get ready! The next Pittsburgh Jazz Orchestra concert is on Saturday, February 18th at 8 p.m. at the August Wilson Center. The lively PGO performance pits the best of the region's jazz drumming against its Philadelphia counterpart in a friendly but spirited rivalry. More information on the latest matchup of Pittsburgh versus Philly is available at the address on your screen. Hey, thanks to Tom Baker of Get Involved for providing my wardrobe today. And thank you for watching Unsung. Please share it with your friends. Check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. Anthony Walker will be back next episode if he survives this 24-hour challenge. I'm Christopher Whitlatch, hoping you get involved. So I said I'ma crush it Call me the golden boy cause it shine whenever I touch it Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally Actually, the whole hood after me Masterpiece, I outran a pace car And these dudes f***ing mad cause they can't even find a day job I stay hard with or without Viagra And I said the flow crush like the fourth in Niagara I'm after a major label budget But since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it